What's going on you guys? What's up? What it do? Welcome back for another vlog. Hope you guys have had an incredible week. It's actually Friday when I'm recording this. It is the first actually. So I guess we consider, can consider this like a video within like vlogmas. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had an incredible week. Today I thought it'd be a good day to vlog because I actually came down to LA. I'm in Beverly Hills today doing two really awesome things for work. So I'm going to be filming those for my channel as well. But I kind of want to do a vlog like behind the scenes, just like a fun LA girls day anyways. Because first off, um, my brother just recently had surgery actually, which I guess I could go into in another video. He made an update on his channel though about something that he went through. So all of our family has been coming up to LA to just like rotate and be with him and make sure he's okay. So it was my turn this morning. We just went up and had breakfast and chatted. Um, but he's with another friend right now. So I actually just drove over to meet my beautiful friend, Angie, who I'm so stoked to see. We have been friends through social media for a little bit. She actually runs the Rich Bitch podcast on iTunes. I believe it's also on Spotify, um, which is so incredible. So. I'm sure a ton of you already listened to it. If you're really into the content and like my Boss Babe series and stuff like that, it's all about just encouraging and motivating and inspiring young women who want to start their own business or get out of debt. Um, it kind of goes into like the law of attraction as well and positive affirmations and just being the best version of yourself and living at your highest potential. So I've listened to a lot of her episodes with so many women she's had on there as guests who are just incredible. And like when I'm, when the podcast is over, I'm just feeling so motivated and ready to kick ass in all areas and aspects of life and I know so many of you have commented on you know certain of my boss babe videos that you're wanting to start your side business as well or make it your full time so many things just about her podcast I feel resonate really well with my audience so she actually asked me to be a guest on it which I'm like incredibly honored I love podcasts I would absolutely love to have my own as well um I just like in this specific moment I feel really overwhelmed <laughs> with a lot of stuff I'm trying to do like I'm trying to launch my boss babe academy on January 1st which will be an eight week course where I take on probably up between 40 and like 50 girls who I help build their social media and like coach them through that, which so many more details to that on that to come. I've been working on that for like months and months and like that's my passion project. That's what I'm like pouring my heart into um, like on the side of YouTube. So I am working on like multiple things, but yeah, I'm super excited to be on her podcast today. It was so sweet of her to ask me and I'm really excited to like pick her brain about podcasting because since YouTube is my full time, I always like chatting with people who do other things and she does YouTube as well, but podcasting is like really her main shit and she is so good at it. Like she's hilarious. So I'm hoping that I do okay on the episode and that it sounds really good. Whenever it's live, I'll, I'll go back to this video and put it in the description box for you guys. So you can check it out. Um, but yeah, I thought it was super cool that she asked me and I got to see my brother while I was up here anyways. So I was like, why don't I just vlog today? I actually just got to her place. So I'm going to park the car and I think we're going to go get some lunch or something before we podcast. So I'll kind of vlog throughout the whole rest of the day. And yeah, I don't know. Subscribe, like, all that jazz. Let's go. So I just got to Angie's. We are about to podcast. Um, actually, that was a lie. I did not just get here. We have been chatting for like three <laughs> hours. What are you talking about, girl? We've been here for a long ass time. We have, like, we know each other's full life story, you know, chatting. But we've gone serious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Angie Lee, everyone. Hello. She podcasts full time, guys. Badass, but she's like debating getting YouTube. And I'm like, bitch, just, just jump on it. Look at this. I know, this. Jordan's totally inspired me. I'm really scared, but. If you're afraid to do something, that means you have to do it, so. Hell yeah, I'm like giving her her own advice. So we're actually doing a little, I wanna show you guys, um, the sun almost went down, we're podcasting kinda late, but we set up a few things here. She's actually recording a vlog for her YouTube channel as well, and Facebook, doing a Facebook Live for the vlog, or for the podcast. So we're about to record a podcast episode, just kinda just like a little overview of where she usually podcasts. So beautiful in here. Um, do you mind if I show that? Oh my god, totally. oh, okay. Show my bag. No, I love it. Everything. Yeah, whenever I have showed them like apartment tours and flooring and stuff, everyone's so into it. So she's got a really nice open layout here, which is great. And her, um, she just invested in this to start editing. And I was like, girl, jump on YouTube. So be on the lookout for some YouTube videos from her. her Come here, Meepo. Come here. Oh, yeah. Meepo. Oh, hi. Hi, hey, hi. He's about almost eight months old. He's so he's cute. Has he always been deaf? Yeah. He's Aww. Deaf. You are so absolutely and precious. Only has one <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm gosh, nervous. love you. He's so cute though. My son would love him. Oh my god, I'm going to freak out right here. All right, so we are about 700 years late on this podcast. So we're we're going to get this cracking and then we'll update later. So 
so it's now the next day. Um, last night in LA, I actually stayed at my friend Angie's house. Christian's going crazy. Um, until like 8 or 9 p.m. We just chatted all day. Like we hit it off right away. I originally went up there to do the podcast, but we just became friends instantly. So we were just like chatting and hanging out literally all night. There was nothing extra, nothing like cool for me to vlog throughout the night. I just ended up having my normal boring two and a half drive. Uh, two and a half. Uh, can I talk? We hung out all night and then I drove home, which takes me like two and a half hours to get home. So there was nothing really too exciting to vlog. Um, last night. But yeah, I picked up Little Man. It's now the next day. We're actually going to a birthday party, so I thought it'd be cool to continue the vlog into today. If you guys care what I'm wearing, it's super basic. Cami from Target. I think this is Forever 21. You know I'm wearing my favorite jeans. Uh, let me put you here. Um, these are from Hot Miami Styles. I mentioned them in the last vlog. Super comfortable. I feel like they're really flattering. And yes, I have worn them. Come here! I have worn them a million times, but that's okay. Say hi! Hi! Are we going to a birthday party? Yeah! For Delilah? Uh -huh. One of Christian's good friends is turning eight, so that is where we're heading, so... I'm, I'm turning five. You're gonna be... When are you gonna be five? Tell him. January 21st. Tell him. January 21st. January 21. You're gonna be five. I don't want you to grow up. I don't want you to grow up. Yeah, yeah. Stay little forever. But yeah, just wanted to say hi this morning, kind of let you guys know what we're gonna do today, and of course, we're running late, so... Let's get it popping. I did prep some protein and veggies today, so I don't eat any birthday cake or anything bad there because I'm trying to really stick on eating healthy, so. All right, so we just got in the car to leave. We just went through Starbucks really fast and got a coffee on the way to the birthday party. But the minute, right before I got in the car, I was like walking up to my car and I was like, what is on my windshield? And I saw this. I can't believe this. Okay, I will take full responsibility but then again, I'm still like super frustrated. So in my complex, there's never any parking, right? I have my parking pass like up here on my, um, like by my rear view mirror um, because they know that I live here and I can park there, obviously whatever, because I pay rent, I live there, whatever. I don't have an outside parking space. I usually park in my garage, but I went to my mom's yesterday which is all the way around the complex and there was no parking by her house. I went in to feed her dog Lola because she was at work. So I went into her house for what? Literally three minutes maybe. And I did park in a spot where you're not supposed to park. Um, but no one is ever there. Like there's no security. I wasn't blocking anyone else's space. I just parked there, put on my hazards, which hello, that's what the hazards are for, right? To let someone know that you're going to be right back. Uh, but there's never any cops in my complex, nothing. So I got this, I came back. I have no clue how a cop was able to go to my car, give me this ticket and leave that quickly because I swear I was gone for like two to three minutes. So I'm upset with myself that I parked there, but I park there like every day when I go to my mom's. It's never a problem. So they gave me a ticket, first of all, for it says improper display of registration tabs. And I went and checked on my front license plate and on my back one. My registration is on there. It's valid till 2018, the little blue sticker. So I don't I, that I'm gonna fight. I have no clue why they think my registration wasn't showing, like it's clearly on both. Uh, but they said, the place I was parking in, they said no parking, or no, parking on or over a boundary line of a disabled parking stall, and it's $340. $340 for me to park there, throw my hazards on, go in and feed my mom's dog. Like I just wanted to go in and do her a favor really quick while she was at work and there was no parking. I'm like, let me park here for two seconds. And this isn't the first time I've parked in that spot I don't know, 20 times and it's been fine. So this sucks. There's usually, I've never once seen a cop in our parking structure. So I don't know how, why they were there, how they were there, but I mean, it's valid. I wasn't in the right spot, but it just sucks because I was only inside for two minutes. So, you know, trying to be in a good mood, but that is uh, not too great. So anywho, we got a coffee, ran into Walgreens and got a present. Um, the birthday party we're going to, the girl is turning eight. It's one of Christian's friends and I am so bad with gifts, you guys. So I know what to get Christian because I know like what a four or five year old likes. I didn't know what to get her though. Um, but I just ended up getting this tea set from Frozen. Is this really corny for an eight year old? I don't know, you guys. So I got her this and then I got a thing in there of some Barbies. Yeah, and then Christian got a new watch. Show him. He wanted to pick a toy as well because we were getting a toy for her. He's like, mom, I need a toy too, of course. But yeah, I just also picked her up a super cute little like glittery card. So we're gonna fill this out and we're almost there. So it's now like 10 30 p.m. I just wanted to come on and close out the vlog. We got home from the birthday party, had some dinner. Little man is upstairs, knocked out. He's just exhausted. I've just been working. 
I have, I'm about to go to bed though. Like usually I stay up, I go to bed like around midnight usually. That's just like my sleep routine, but I can feel my body right now and my mind like shutting down. Like I'm physically exhausted. So I'm going to go get some sleep because that's what my body needs so I can be fully recharged and ready for the week. I'm super excited because I have like three to four videos that I'm gonna get out this week for sure. I'm also, what I've been working on tonight is my new Girl Boss Guide. So if you guys, I have one ebook that's out on my website. I know a lot of you have recently got it and supported me, which has been so incredible. And just reading the messages of how it's changed your mindset or your beliefs or helped you realize how much potential and value you have and how happy you deserve to be in life. It's really so fulfilling for me, guys. Like writing is a huge passion for me. Um, and I did put my ebook on sale for 50% off all for December. So I know a bunch of you like recently got it, which was really cool, but I'm working on my next ebook actually. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Being a Girl Boss. So I do write it on the computer, but I actually printed it out so I can go through and kind of do my edits. And I like to read a physical copy. So I just like printed all this out tonight and this is what I've been working on. I've kind of been posting like little teasers on my social media and a lot of you have said you're excited for that to come out which again, just makes me so happy and grateful to have an audience where you guys are excited for stuff I'm doing and you truly think it can add value to your life like that. There's no, besides like the love of Christian, there's no greater feeling. Like I love what I do so much and I love that I'm getting into like the eBooks and stuff like that aside from YouTube because YouTube is so fun for me, but I'm definitely want to expand and do more things. So this is the main thing that I'm working on tonight. But yeah, I think it's like almost 11 p.m. and I'm tired. So I'm gonna get some rest. Just wanted to close out the vlog and say thank you so very much for watching. Again, I'm super appreciative for you guys. If you're new or if you're just constantly taking the time to come back and follow my life with Christian and my accomplishments and everything, it is so damn appreciated. I was just telling my mom again tonight, she came over to do some work on her laptop as well. And we just got into like this big long discussion, but I was just telling her how appreciative and grateful I truly feel for this job and the platform and just like, Everything I've built up over these past few years, I'm extremely proud of it. And I really do think of you guys as family. So I don't know, like during the holidays and stuff, I just really want to make sure you know that. So yeah, I think that's it. That was another ramble, but that's me. That's what I do. See, even right now, looking in the viewfinder, something is wrong with this like shooting mode because my face looks a bit blurry and it's just, it's very weird. I don't get it. I'm like always changing settings on my camera and it's so frustrating, but Hope you guys could kind of bear with it for today. Again, I really appreciate you. Please subscribe if you're not already. I'm doing like double the uploads that I usually do here during the holiday season and really working hard on content for you guys and like linking everything, finishing the ebook for you. So I just really appreciate it. All you gotta do to support me is give this video a like. Like that's it, that'd be super cool. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you have an incredible week and I will have a new video tomorrow. So stay tuned, good night. Mm.